Hello folks, I'm Ellie Little and this is today's short take. Copper. Copper has always been a sign of uh, growth and strength when it is strong and it has been anything but strong for a long time. A quick look at the charts just shows pressure, pressure, and more pressure as this market continues you know, to break swing point after swing point, right, and just head straight down. It's happened on the daily chart, and of course on the weekly charts. It doesn't matter where you look on the copper charts. It's a break point of a swing point low time after time. And all that can signal is more weakness anytime you make those breaks on multiple time frames. More weakness, two to three bars to the downside each time you break. Going all the way out to the monthly, you can see nothing but uh, ABCD structures on the way down. It's a, uh, it's a sad state if you're trying to invest in any kind of metals as this market continues to extend and blow away projections and then bounce and then blow them away again and again. Surely there's some indication, you know, that copper itself is a reflection of what's happening to the metals vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. And part of it is that, you know, not all construction anymore is copper more and more you're seeing plastic wiring instead of copper wiring but folks when you see this kind of destruction 60 to 23 there's something more going on than just a switch away from a uh, copper on the demand side there's a reflection here that there's a real problem in the metals space and in the industrial metals and copper is just a reflection of that. That is today's short take.